What's up, YouTube? I don't know why my phone won't let me zoom in and out. I'm trying to figure it out. This phone's really, really, really starting to irritate me. I think it's time I might go buy a new one. It's a Samsung Galaxy. Samsung. Uh, I, I'm not a fan of Samsung. I don't like Apple either. But I'm not a cell phone guy. Anyway, let you let me introduce you. My, uh, let me introduce myself. If you're new to the channel and you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Josh Beaumont. I am the owner of Relentless Motorsports Texas. Avid car enthusiast. Sometimes a nutcase. Who is it? We're all a little bit crazy. Fellow super owner. Fellow soarer owner. Motorcycle rider. And. I've been known as the Toyota ECU guy. I don't really think I am, but that's what people call me. Customer's always right, right? I guess. Ah, just messing around. Anyway, I want to talk today, talk to you guys today about your LS430 or Toyota Celsius. You get some of the newer Toyota Crowns. These ECUs have a software issue as well as a component issue and what it does is it'll cause the car to have a latency hesitation between gear changes as well as it creates issues where the transmission will have a hard shift it'll kick it'll buck it'll have a hard downshift then have a horrible upshift it'll slip all sorts of things and yes it can damage your transmission but before you go through the transmission in the car, get your ECU service. A lot of people have asked in the past, when I posted these on our social media page, what, um, what ECU part number they are. So I'm going to put it right here so you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. I will read it to you. It is 89661-5. The Denso part number is 2750007461. Right there. The ECU looks like this when it's all closed up. The two screws in it that hold the cape that this lid in mounts in the car under the hood. Everything on this board is surface mount versus older Toyota computers that you guys that are familiar with me are used to seeing me work on. Meaning nothing on this board solders through the board except for the header plug. If you look, the header plug solders through like a traditional board and the screws go through the board that hold the main plug in. They've got little screws that are underneath this flat spot that secure the plug, keep the solder from cracking, um, works quite well. Anyway, as you see, this is all surface mount. These caps eventually are gonna start failing. They're getting old. They're no different than one of these caps, except for they sit on top of the board instead of go through the board. They're still electrolytic caps. These actually are not Nichicon anymore like the older units. These are Panasonic caps, made by Panasonic, still made in Japan. Um, everything else is surface mount, everything, meaning it solders to little pads on the top of the board. So this here would be, it's a blank spot from where they would add a chip for maybe a different model or whatnot. A little chip like this, you see all the little legs? Same, same thing. This is a component failure and a software flash to fix. And at Relentless Motorsports Texas, I have the fix and I stand by it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this LS430. The RAV4 has the issue. I'm sure a couple other Toyotas that I'm not even familiar with, because we pop might not even have them here in the country. I'm in the States, I'm in I'm in Dallas, Texas. Um, these ECUs here have issues, and obviously, as I said, I can fix it. So if this video is helpful, if you want to know more, hit me up. Um, 
like and subscribe, comment on here. Let me know if this video helped you. Um, click the little bell, little thumbs up, you know, any little bit will help. And uh, I hope to hear from you guys soon. Anyway, have a fantastic day. I'm going to get to fixing that bad boy and uh, hope to hear from you guys soon. Take it easy. Thank you. Thanks for watching.